Established around 1908 near the site of New City West, Tremont was named for the three dominating dunes nearby, Mount Tom, Mount Holden, and Mount Jackson. Tremont was never a town, per se. It was neither incorporated nor platted. But its ideal location along Highway 12 made it a common stop for tourists and travelers. The Tremont community actually began in the mid-1800s as New City West, Located on the Detroit-Chicago Road, which was a well-traveled stagecoach route, New City West flourished with several businesses, including a cooperage, a hotel, and a tavern. The local one-room schoolhouse was called City West, built in 1876. For whatever reason, New City West began to flounder, and by the 1870s had all but disappeared as a town. But the South Shore Railroad reignited excitement over the area, Shortly after it opened in 1908, the South Shore Railroad opened a station called Tremont. It is likely that the community took its name from the station, which brought hordes of visitors to the Indiana Dunes. Many of these visitors came from Chicago, including the Prairie Club. The Prairie Club organized outdoor hikes and adventures for its members in order to encourage physical health and appreciation for nature. Their first trip in 1908 sparked a decades-long connection with the Indiana Dunes and led to the establishment of their Tremont camp. Tremont's tourist trade thrived. Like other well-traveled highway communities, travel-oriented businesses like gas stations, hotels, and restaurants opened. There may have been as many as four different hotels and inns in Tremont at one time, and several property owners established vacation cabins to rent to tourists. Although Tremont was a successful and busy community, like other ghost towns, it too had its demise. But the reason for its failure is well known and well documented. In 1966, Congress established the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. As properties were inspected and land was considered for addition to the park, two opposing factions arose. Proponents of the park hoped to save the dunes from further destruction by industrial and residential development. And some of them sold their Tremont property to the government for this reason. But many of those who protested the park worried about losing their homes and disagreed with the purchasing agreements. Ultimately, the National Park Service took over the Tremont community and tore down the businesses except for the South Shore Station. For about 60 years, Tremont was a center for tourism in North Porter County. Today, it is a memory, with little physical evidence of its existence, except a road name and a picnic shelter. Thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about area ghost towns, check out other videos on the Westchester Public Library's YouTube channel, or visit the Westchester Township History Museum in Chesterton, Indiana.